Hey guys, this is Nippon from Nippon Studio again. So, today we're going to do something extremely awesome. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay guys, because there are some of people that request me f for this tutorial, so I just made it happen. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first what we need is the footage. Okay, here. So what I have here. So just something like that. Alright, and the other thing is you need an airplane. Okay, don't give yourself a hard time on finding a video footage of an airplane. Okay, so because what we need is just still image. You know, you can Google it. So what I'm having here, I already cut it out in Photoshop. And the other thing is we need a sky, okay? It's not gonna be like regular sky. So, uh, you don't have to have uh, this exactly picture like this, okay? I mean, you could find an of uh, you could find an elements like fire or something, you know, like water, you know, water surface, and then you just turn it, make it sort of like orange in Photoshop or whatever you want so but this is what I have here okay and the other thing is let's see you need a explosion okay all right now we got these elements now so let's see here it's what one two eight or times okay so let's right click and new compositions and okay that width and height and per second okay that's fine let's do just only five seconds okay and then hit okay all right then we have it then just drag it down our footage there okay and then let's do the sky first okay um, okay all right uh, what I'm going to do is right click and open a new composition and yeah let's do five seconds also and then okay and then drag it down oops and then drag it down there okay it's too small right just stretch it out you don't have to worry about the scale or the ratio of the photos you know it doesn't matter so if you see in the original uh, movies you know the sky it's sort of like it's moving a little bit it's like a, you know it's the end of the world I mean what do you expect right um, it could be anything that you want you could you could just have just still image something like that but yeah it's too easy right so we want to do a hard way let's try that okay and then what i'm going to do is go to distort and go all the way to the bottom and let's do wave warp okay and what you see here it sort of like give you a little bit of wave and something like that maybe it's too much right so you have to come back here in effect controls and then adjust it Okay, let's do just a little bit and okay. And now we could see a little bit of creepy movement of the sky now. Okay? All right. So All right, back here. So let's name it a sky. Okay, and this should be our final. All right. Okay, now we have this. All right, let's come back here to our final project here. After that, what you need to do is track, okay? You could do by using a tracker here, okay? Or you could use the plugin that I did before. That would be much easier, but let's stick with this, okay? What I'm going to do next is right click, new, and then no object, of course. All right, and then click on our footage and track motion. Okay, let's find the spot that it would stick well. Okay, let's try this one and also rotation and then hit analyze forward okay then I would take a couple minutes I guess and after we done all of it just hit apply and then hit okay all right uh, you know what I think I'm gonna do just this because it takes too much time 
So what I'm going to do is keying out all the white stuff, which is this guy, okay? I mean, it would be better if you have a very nice, clean, white sky, you know? If that would give you a much easier work to do. And then what I'm going to do is hit keying, and then let's do linear color, okay? Drag it on our footage. And then just, you know, point it into the white color. And that, see? That's pretty good job, but we got the things there. I don't think we need it, so... Okay, that's pretty good, actually. We might get a little bit stuck there, but don't worry, that would be fine. And then, what we need is, we need the sky to stick on no object, so just parent it to no object, and then hide it. Alright, okay. And then, the next thing is, let's do the airplane. Okay, let's drag it down. So we've got an airplane, maybe just rotate it this way a little bit. So we go all the way here. And then let's keyframe it, position, and then parent it to no object also. Okay, and then let's go all the way, kaboom. Alright. Alright, that's too fast, right? Okay, let's make it slower. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, that's pretty good, right? The other thing, let's do color correction here. Let's do color balance. Okay, here. It's depend on you, okay? If you like to use curve, that would be fine too. Okay, and also the airplane. Drag. Alright, and then just turn on the motion blur and let's see. Let's do brightness and contrast for the footage here. So we give a little bit of very nice contrast there. And adjust this a little bit. You know, just let's say it's, you know, it's the end of the world and then the power is off. And that's why. Okay, and then let's do an explosion. Okay, so what I have here is explosion, something like this. So just drag it down. Alright, and then just get the shot that we need and put in the right position where the airplane hits. Alright, okay, and don't forget to parent it to no object, okay? And let's solo that so we could key it out. So I'm going to key, and let's do key light, okay? Here, drag it down, and then just hit on that. Let's adjust this a little bit, and... Okay, unsoloed it. Alright, okay, that's fine, right? And let's do another thing is color correction. So I'm going to use color balance again. And let's make it sort of like orange. Okay. And if you turn on the motion blurs, and you know, that just be fine. And I think I'm going to flip the sky here. Okay. Could go up a little bit okay something like that and if you seeing here is something unusual happens which is if you see here it's supposed to be like a little bit of light that affects the objects in the scene right which is we calling glowing or something like that so just right click and then adjustment layer and then type glow okay there it is and just drag it down and then just do adjustment and you know whatever that you wanted to don't make it too much so if you could see here and then you know just mask it out just make a circle and also do the feather and because the sky is moving so we might have to keyframe it okay and you know just move it around and that see we could see something's going on there and it looks more realistic okay as it goes down you know and then just turn the motion blurs on and then you could do a little bit of camera shake or whatever you want so and this is the final <laughs> Okay, so hope you enjoyed it and hope it helps you 
And if you have any comments, just please feel free to give me a comment or uh, anything you want, okay? Thank you for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.